Hey, welcome back to my agenda. If you're new, welcome. We appreciate you're here. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give me a like. If you're interested in this look, stay tuned and I'll show you exactly how I achieved it. you've been here for a while you notice something different about the intro i hope you guys like it don't judge me yes i reuse my dual forms and i probably should clean them a little bit more than i do but hey my bad so i'm about to attach a tip to my thumbnail the plastic form didn't fit so i just clipped it and now i'm you know buffing it out a little bit to make sure that it adheres properly next i will be going in with this new kit that i purchased from savvy land it is a glitter poly gel kit. I will go on and do a better review on it, but right now I'm just showing you kind of the basics that come in the kit. Dual forms, a brush, some slip, base and top coat. As usual, I will show you right here what the glitters look like. They're so pretty, and like I said, I will be showing you a better tutorial. Make sure that you did your nail prep. You're going and do a good base coat. From there on, I will be going back to that thumb and doing a play on a French tip with a nude color by Model Ones and some glitter gel from the kit you just saw. I'm just taking a moment to ask you to subscribe and like and comment. The engagement truly helps small channels like mine grow. So I cured that for about 60 seconds. I'm going in and I'm filing around the edges just to make sure it's a clean line before I go on and put that glitter for that tip, it's gonna be so pretty. So I did end up trimming this nail and then I was kicking myself because I wasted so much of my good glitter poly gel. So just be mindful and try to think in advance if you're going to have shorter nails. I mean, by no means are these nails short, but if you're going to be trimming, just don't use so much poly gel. Until watching this video back, I noticed that I'm out of frame a lot. Please forgive me, guys. I didn't actually get to see that until, of course, the nails were done. Always make sure you're smoothing out that underneath part. As usual, I do try to form my nail as much as possible. If I know I want a pointy nail, I try to make the poly gel pointy in the dual form. If I know I want like a ballerina, I try to kind of shape it just so it's much easier to file when I actually get to that point. I'm so absolutely in love with this Model 1s. It is so smooth and easy to work with, just like butter. So I did get some decals and some charms for Christmas. I'm showing you guys them. I love them so much. I really wish that I didn't get them so late. I got them mid-December. I wish I had gotten them sooner because I'm a little bit extra and you guys know I love glitter. So this was really fun for me to use.
I know it was a little bit harder to see, but that little thing did have some green dots in it. Some little things that I'm encapsulating. I did cure before I added this poly gel, which I have to say is absolutely stunning. Those little green beads that I was encapsulating and this holographic glitter just looks so good to me. I absolutely love it, guys. Time to file and shape and actually see what this is going to look like. Always make sure you're taking your time and you're actually paying attention to the cuticle portion of the poly gel. You want to make sure that there's not going to be any lifting. Be careful because you don't want to cut yourself either. As you can see, this little tub came with like these little white beads that kind of look like glitter, but a little bit larger. So I separated all of them from the rest of the little decals and I'm going to apply those to this now to get kind of like a, I don't know, sugar, like snow effect. I think it turned out really well. Let me know what you think down below. So here I'm just pressing some of those little beads into the modeling gel because I want them to stay and I just wanted to make sure that they were on there good before I cured. Now some of these charms are a little bit bigger and heavier. Anytime you're putting something like that on your nail, you want to make sure that you secure it with extra gel just to make sure it doesn't accidentally pop off, which is what I'm doing right here. Okay, so we've made it to my shameful part of the video. By the way, I didn't have any thin brushes, guys. I couldn't find them. So I got a bit creative and my boyfriend wound up getting me one of these little nail things. Um, yeah, don't judge me, y'all. This is also part of why the sweater nail kind of turned out wider than expected. Either way, I mean, use what you have, be creative. So here I am using some alcohol just to clean up the thickness of that line because it was a little bulky considering I used a nail tip. Now this is some dip powder. I am making sure to go in and use some of the finer glitter. I was trying to avoid the bigger chunks just because I wanted it to actually look like a sweater nail. And I knew that the big glitter chunks would kind of bleed everything together. So take your time and yeah, use what you have. Again, I am pulling a line to, you know, the thinnest of my ability. I am going back in and making that line a little bit thinner with some alcohol solution, as you can see. And as I progressed, I actually got a little bit smarter and I was putting the dip powder onto the gel and then going in with the alcohol and thinning it out, which you're about to see. And when it's as thin as I'd like, of course I go in and I cure.
y'all this part was a beast i am trying to actually make the design of a sweater yeah um you just pull two lines and then you kind of connect them in the middle Then you cover everything with your dip powder or glitter. I've seen people use different things. After that, you're going to use your alcohol brush again and just clean things up a little bit, push them into place, and then cure. Now, this was my first time attempting the sweater now look. If I were to do it again, I would just layer everything twice. I would double up on the gel, and then I would do it again with the dip powder to give it that kind of bulkier sweater look. When you pull those lines, you can just go in after that and add some little tick marks and some dots. I've seen people use hearts just to kind of make that sweater look, you know, as fluffy as possible. These are some little nail decals, nail foils, whatever you guys call them. There are a lot of different designs on here. I thought they were just going to be like snowflakes and Santa Clauses and snowmen. No, guys, there's like New Year's stuff, all kinds of stuff on here. I'll be using this more frequently. I do really like that these are holographic. I'm just adding it to this now to give it a little bit more sparkle. By the way, you guys design your nails exactly how you want and just have fun in the process. Now, I forgot to say this at the intro, but this is a place where we think highly of ourselves and we're kind to others because if we're not, then who will? Remember that you're beautiful, you're smart, you're intelligent, you're capable of anything you put your mind to. I thank you so much for being here. If you appreciate this look and learned anything, like, comment down below. Make sure you subscribe, share love always, and Merry Christmas.